One of the, the, the major banes of every single garden are, are weeds. And uh, despite whatever we do, there's always going to be more weeds coming. Wherever water hits the soil and wherever the wind blows, it seems like there's weeds that pop up like crazy. I try and set the rows of my garden wide enough that I can run my tiller down in between the rows. But uh, as the plants really start to grow, uh, sometimes the, the tiller can, can be a little awkward and difficult to get out, down between the rows. And we don't want to do any damage to our plants. So that's when it's time to go back to a good old-fashioned hoe because it'll take out the weeds and, and you can be a little bit more precise, a little bit more surgical where we're going to take those, we're going to take those weeds out. So I'm going to show you a bunch of different kinds of hoes and uh, what they're really good for. You know, to start off with, this is, this is kind of a furrowing hoe and it's, it's got a, an angle, well not an angle, but a point to it and it's really great for trenching. It's great for making furrows if you're going to water, if you're going to plant. It really, it really does a great job, but you can, you can make a nice deep indentation with it, but some people use it to, to weed with as well too. But, you know, I, We'll use this mostly for, for trenching, for doing, uh, you know, it's great for planting uh, potatoes. And I used it to plant my beans with as well too, made a much more shallow uh, indentation with my furrowing hoe. This is a more traditional hoe, much uh, larger head. You can, it, it, it's, it's sharpenable on this side, so you can use a grinder or a file just to sharpen it up. And it's, it's great for chopping up bigger weeds. You know, we've got some bigger, bigger weeds right there that we can just kind of eliminate with that hoe. But it does a pretty good job, you know, just, just taking out some of those, those, smaller, those smaller weeds as well too. So uh, longer handle, don't have to bend over as much. Really a great tool. One of my favorites uh, growing up is what's called an onion hoe. And as you can see, it's a, it's a much smaller head than the one I was just using. But the onion hoe is, uh, is very precise. You can get in really close to the weeds and the plants. You can sharpen it on both edges as well as on the, the larger side there. And it will do an excellent job just slicing those, those weeds off right where, they, right where they come out of the ground. We can take care of those weeds that are coming up right around my beans. So, sharpenable, smaller, easier to work with. This is probably my preferred hoe to, to do a lot of different things with. But my, my ultimate favorite hoe is a stirrup hoe. Uh, very different construction than the ones we've been looking at. So it's, uh, it's very sharp on both sides and it's made like a stirrup. So a stirrup for a saddle, uh, but we're not going to put our foot in there. We're going to put the weeds in there too. And the great thing about it is it articulates and so it cuts both on the push as well as on the pull. So you can really take care of a lot of weeds in a very short amount of time. So these rows are 75 feet long. As you can see, they go all the way down and uh, with a stirrup hoe, I can make very quick work of a lot of different weeds because not only does it cut on the on the pull but it cuts on the push as well too so in a very short amount of time you can really make a big indentation on a lot of weeds and you can cut both directions so it really does a great job at taking out those weeds like no other hoe that I've ever used and of course my garden's never weed free, but uh, when you've got the right tools, uh, you can really keep those weeds down and make it so uh, your plants have room to grow and they can take advantage of the water and the nutrient that's there that the weeds would otherwise take away from them. So you've got quite a few options when it comes to just a mechanical tool for taking out weeds in your garden. If you're getting to that point where you can't run your tiller up and down the rows, you know, a hula hoe or an onion hoe or whichever preferred method you've got really does make a lot of difference when it comes to eliminating weeds in your garden.